Okay, okay. I'm team of Moto Testo. I'm here to present George uh, Overland Touring Ford Ranger Raptor. So in the front, we have the uh, steel bar complement with a come up winch and a steady lead light. So and a one uh, recovery shackle. So this system is useful for trails, traveling at night or uh, anywhere you want to go. So from here we're going to the to the sides. We installed the TJM AirTech uh, sealed snorkel for maximum safety for water wading. And on the top it's a full Thule complement. A Thule load bar, a Thule basket, and a Thule hideaway awning. Okay, let's go to the side. So this is a custom bracket from front runner that is adapted to a Thule basket with the front runner pro table. It's a stainless steel pro table that is uh, hide away and slide in to this rack. So you can bring table without using any unnecessary space. So on the on the back, on the on the quarter portion at the back, we have a max track recovery. Um, this is a camp utensil set from front runner. So on the top is a Thule rooftop tent with annex. You will see the annex later. So we use a front runner wolf pack high lid to store all our the camp things. Okay, here is the storage system. The we call it the smart system, uh, high efficiency. This is a deck. Deck system it's loadable up to two thousand pounds. On the bottom part is two deck drawer to store and easy access of your things. Keep get organized. Keep, keep organized. So on the second layer we have a alucab tilting fridge slide with a domestic fridge. So how do we run our fridge even the car is not running? So I will discuss that later. First, I'll show you the tilting alucard fridge light for easy access of the domestic fridge. On the top, the third layer is a front runner rack. We elevate the rooftop tent with a front runner number four foot for additional storage and to increase the height for the SNA annex. Okay, now I want to discuss what we have on the battery system. The battery system is a 100 amp lithium system hide inside the deck, system, deck drawer. So there's no additional storage needed to occupy the battery system. It's all inside the unused space of the deck. So on this right side we have the control panel this is a can bus switch it's computer controlled to run all the uh, open switching of all the lights uh, power panel uh, high pressure water pump and the air compressor so i'll demo the high pressure water pump you, as you see earlier we have a road shower seven gallon so it's not much but to maximize its capacity this high pressure pump actually uh, produce uh, mist water to to save water and maximize usage so I'll demo it so when you open it the pump will automatically activate then it will stop okay. also we have the switch panel for air compressor the air compressor is used to inflate your tar when you're going on the trail you deflate and then when you go out of the trail you use the air compressor to inflate the air compressor is hidden also on the unused space of the deck panel all of these are controlled by 
uh, Reno G DC DC BMS also have a uh, MPPT solar charging this is a Reno G control uh, monitor so you can see your battery health how much battery percentage left how much time left to deplete the battery and what is the actual ampere you're using or charging so last is this uh, Thule Annex so you can actually slip two adults and two kids on the top and another two adults here at the Annex So now you will ask how this Ford Ranger Raptor carry all this weight. So the, this Ford Ranger Raptor is equipped with a load rated spring, uh, upgraded with a load rated spring to carry all the, the weight. The total estimated additional weight for this rig is additional of 350 kilo with all the accessories installed. Now, a vital, vital thing, equipment that you need for an overland rig, especially with all the electronics and all the cooking and all the, uh, the burner that you have, it's always bring a fire extinguisher. So we installed the fire extinguisher here. This is a custom, custom panel. Uh, you can install your high lift jack, axe, shovel, your fire extinguisher. Yeah, this is a great overland touring vehicle by Sir George.